What is going on, y'all? Safety Steve here. So today I wanted to go over National Body Armor's Express T-Shirt Multi-Threat Soft Armor. So welcome back. I wanted to start off by giving a huge shout out to National Body Armor. Thank you guys very much for sending this for testing and evaluation. We really appreciate it. They were a wonderful company to work with. Very fast, great customer service. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. Hopefully you see what you like and you pick one up for yourself. Other than that guys, please hit that like subscribe button. It's what keeps us making free content for you guys and we really appreciate you. Uh, so let's start off. Here we have our multi-threat t-shirt. This is going to be our concealable t-shirt with both a front and a back plate. Um, it has this really nice mesh. It's that nice silky like undershirt from armor. Under Armour is what I would compare it to. Really comfortable, really lightweight. So we went ahead and pulled one of the plates out for you guys. This is the back plate for us. And so this is a special threat 3A plus approved. So it's really, really lightweight, flexible, movable, and we have multiple calibers that we're gonna go ahead and shoot this with to test it for you guys. Uh, we're gonna use our five gallon bucket as a backing plate. So when we shoot it, we will see the kind of damage on the other side. Uh, we're gonna start off with our Winchester. These are our silver tip 147 grain jacketed hollow points. Then we're going to move to our Hornady. These are 115 grain XTP hollow points. From there, we'll go to our Civil Defense. This is a 50 grain plus P round. We have our Subsonic 300 Blackout 190 grain Sub X. We have our 300 Blackout Full Metal Jacket 150 grain. And then we're gonna finish it off with 150 grain 308. This is definitely not rated for 308, but we're gonna go ahead and do it for fun, see what kind of damage we get. So let's go ahead and load some mags up and we will meet you guys out at the range. All right guys, so we have our Winchester Silver Tip 147 grain. We got our Springfield Armory Prodigy with us. And we're out about seven yards, which would be a normal confrontation. So we're gonna take three shots and then we'll go check out the armor. All right, so we got our three shots there. Now let's go check it out. All right, guys, so we got our three impacts right there. Let's pull this plate out. I can actually see the rounds squished still in there. Absolutely nothing out of the back. Let's go to the next round, guys. All right, y'all, so the next is our Hornady. These are the XTP 115 grain hollow points. We're shooting it out of our Staccato C2. Same range, let's see what happens. All right, let's go check it out. All right guys, so there's our next three rounds. Absolutely nothing out of the back. So we're gonna go ahead and go to our last nine mil round. Y'all, so our last round is going to be this Liberty Defense 50 grain plus P. We're gonna be shooting it out of our SIG X Macro compensated. See what happens.
All right, guys, so there's our next three rounds. Absolutely nothing in the back. I can actually feel the rounds down under here. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap it to the other plate and we're gonna start shooting it with some 300 blackout. All right, guys, so now we are on to our 300 blackout. These are the Hornady Sub X 190 grain Subsonics. Let's uh, see what we can do. Well, it knocked it clear over, so let's go uh, set it back up and shoot it two more times. All right, y'all, subsonic round two. Uh, hopefully we don't knock it over this time. We're still shooting the Hornady subsonic 300 blackout. All right, let's go check out our target. All right, y'all, so we got our three rounds here. Absolutely nothing out of the back. I can feel the rounds in there. So we're gonna shoot it with some full metal jackets now. All right, y'all, 150 grain, 300 blackout, full metal jackets. If I can get it right, see what it does. I'm pretty sure those all smoked right through. All right, guys, so we got our three more rounds in here. Let's look at the back. Straight through. Yep, just blew right through it all. Body armor did not capture it. So we got one left. Just for fun, we're going to shoot the 308 and uh, see what it does. All right, y'all, just for fun, 150 grain 308 at 25 yards. All right, y'all, so we got our two impacts from the 308. Uh, completely blew straight through, no problem. Uh, this is not rated for any kind of rifle rounds. I'm actually really surprised that it stopped the 300 blackout um, subsonic rounds. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these open and see what we can find. All right, y'all, so we have our two plates here. We're gonna go ahead and cut them open and see what we can find. So we'll start off with the handgun target. Uh, we shot most of our rounds with the handgun through this one. So what we're gonna do is we are just going to cut it open. See what we can find, and right there off the bat, we have a couple of our rounds. That looks like the 147 grain jacketed hollow point. Uh, I'm gonna say that's the same exact thing. And that's the other jacketed hollow point. So all three of those stopped right there. Now we have more layers, so let's keep cutting into it. If I can cut into it. All right, so now as we start to peel the layers back, there is both of our 115 grain XTP Hornady hollow points. We have more in there. Yeah, looks like we do. So I'm gonna try to cut some more layers away. Let's see what else we can find. Where are they? One more. Sorry. 
sorry guys this is very well built so that is going to be part of our 50 grain plus p round the only thing that's left is the base and those went the furthest all right guys so as you see very very well built multiple multiple layers um, it stopped everything with our handgun rounds all self-defense ammunition so we're gonna go ahead and tear this one apart now and see if we can find some of those 300 blackout rounds in there all right so first things first we're just gonna cut this top layer off And right there, guys, you see one of our 300 blackout subsonic rounds. Let's see if I can get it out of there. Come on. As you can see, it's all tangled into the mesh which is the design of this. It's supposed to catch your bullets. So, there we have one of our 300 blackout subsonic rounds, fully caught by the armor. Now you can see the full metal jackets that blew right through, and then we have the 308 that obviously blew right through. So this would be amazing protection for anybody who's going to encounter most handgun rounds. I wouldn't carry this in an environment where you encounter mostly rifle rounds, but this is a fantastic, soft, super lightweight, concealable body armor that will stop the majority of your handgun defense rounds, which is huge in my book, and you can never be safe enough.